at a certain point, I've just concluded that um, for me personally, it is important for me to go ahead and affirm that uh, I think same-sex couples should be able to get married. Now, as President Obama coming out in favor of gay marriage just a short time ago, we're going to discuss that and lots, lots more right here, right now on the News Hub. Good afternoon and welcome. I'm Simon Constable. Let's go straight to Laura Meckler with The Wall Street Journal in Washington, D.C., who's been covering this story. Um, Laura, why, why now? Well, you know, a lot of people have been waiting for a long time for President Obama to say these words, suspecting that he long believed them. His hand was sort of forced on Sunday when Vice President Biden was asked this question, and he made clear on TV that he does support same-sex marriage rights. So that led to a pretty uncomfortable situation at the White House. You essentially had the vice president in favor, and you had the president in this weird in-between position where he was officially against it, he was evolving, but no one really knew exactly when this evolution was going to become complete. So that really put them in a tough position and I think that's why we have this news here today. Now we also got some news last night about North, from North Carolina about gay marriage as well. Um, did that sort of accentuate the, the urgency of dealing with this? Well, perhaps a little bit, but I, I think they probably could have weathered North Carolina. I mean, North Carolina voters turned um, approved a ban that includes both um, same-sex marriages as well as civil unions and other domestic partnerships. Uh, obviously, you know, North Carolina is a state that Obama will be competing in this fall, uh, and that makes for some difficult, a little bit complicated politics for him. But, you know, a lot of states, you know, this is about 30 states who have now banned same-sex marriage, and um, North Carolina is just the latest. And, and the president has managed to sort of maintain his position, you know, up and down through all of those situations. So I don't think that was the urgency, although it was getting increasingly uncomfortable for the White House because his official position was it's up to the states. And yet when states supported same-sex marriage, like New York, he welcomed that. But yet he was opposed to situations like North Carolina. He was against the ballot initiative mm -hmm. there. So it was sort of like if it's up to the states, yeah. but you're only for it when the states are for gay marriage, then you're sort of in a tough position. So I think it was all kind of increasingly squeezing him. And it yeah. all came to a head here today. Now, we, we, we have um, some poll results from Wall Street Journal um, poll um, that shows a declining uh, a, a declining opposition basically to um, gay marriage and we can see that from uh, you know basically that there's the favoring is 49 percent in March 2012 and that's up from a mere 30 percent in March 2004 um, does right. that is it is that also contributing to the, the president's uh, stance on gay marriage well, I think it's all of a piece. You essentially see a lot of shifting happening in the country. I think it's a lot safer for him to be for it today than it was, say, just you know, three, four years ago when he was running it for president the first time, um, when he was on on the record for civil unions but against gay marriages. So, yes, public opinions are changing rapidly. Young people, in particular, are you know, very supportive of these marriage rights. Older people much more reluctant, but obviously, you know, these younger people become voters every single day. So you see that changing, you see views changing. So I think that it isn't so much that public opinion tipped and he felt, okay, it's all right now. I think it was all part of an evolution that's been going on in, in the country.